Hi guys, um, I just wanted to do a nursery tour for you. I wanted to give you some tips that I've found the past six months and just kind of show you around Maddox's room. Um, first tip that I have found is if you do not have a dimming light, you need to get one of those. Um, it's just really nice in the night to be able to turn the light on just a little bit and not have like a big light blinding you and your baby. Um, so this is when you first walk in, this is what it looks like. And over here we just have some shelves with some little decorative items. We have uh, his first piggy bank, we have a little picture of him, we have some a sack corsage actually that was from one of my baby showers. Uh, we have a cross that one of my friends sent, says God bless Maddox. Um, some other little decorations. So over here um, we have chair, table. If you are pumping or nursing, you will want a table next to your chair just for your supplies um, and also you're always going to want like a glass of water. That's just another little tip that I have found. If you are nursing or pumping, always have a bottle of water right next to you because it's really good to stay hydrated and you will want it. Um, back here I realize it's a little messy, but... We just have some bags of clothes that are too small for him now that I need to switch into a bin and put it downstairs with his other clothes that don't fit him. We have this giant duck tub. Um, we use this multiple times a week, so we've found it's easier to just leave it, you know, inflated and um, throw it back there once it's dry to, so that we don't have to keep on blowing it up every time we want to give him a bath. And by the way, that is a great tub for, um, I think we started using that when he was about 15 pounds, somewhere around there, maybe actually a little earlier, but basically when he started kicking himself out of his other little baby tub, we switched tubs, um, and actually he loves this one because he can splash and it's a little bit more room where he can just kind of have fun. Um, we have a chair here, which is super nice. It's got a ottoman that also rocks um, from Babies R Us. Uh, his shelving unit over here is from Target with those boxes um, also from Target. If you have an extra stereo I would totally recommend putting one of those in there. It's just really nice to um, put some lullabies on and let him fall asleep to that or when he's kind of um, a little bit older playing to have some fun music going. We have his fun music going basically out in the living room usually because he's not playing in here yet. But um, it's just nice to have that in here. We have some of his first cards, his first Valentine's Day cards I kept back there. His little shoes that don't fit him yet, I like to put those on display. Some tissues, some other little stuffed animals, and actually a doll that was mine when I was a kid that I'm sure you're going to have to get rid of because he's not going to want to play with that. But some bookshelves um, down there we have extra bottles in that that you don't really want out in this one we have um, his baby book and some um, picture frames that we haven't put pictures in yet um, we have some pictures that I got developed that I need to put in his baby book or do something with um, up here we have some CDs for his little stereo so there's that. Always have extra suckies, extra pacifiers everywhere. <laughs> Which these are really nice because they actually have these um, little cap things that you can leave them laying around the house. Hang on, let me pop this off. Leave them, oops, leave them laying around the house. And if you need one, now of course, oh my goodness, okay. See, <laughs> so you pop this little cover thing off. And you have a clean pacifier. So, I really like that. They're a little bit more on the pricey side, but I think it's worth it if you're going to leave them laying around like that. His crib. This set is from Babies R Us. It's actually discontinued, um, but I really do love it. I took so long trying to figure out what set I wanted to get him. Um, but I'm really glad with our decision of this one. Um, 
this blanket actually my friend made and I love it and then we've just got some other blankets here some hooks with a receiving blanket and a little bath towel uh, we got his little teddy bears that he can look at and he loves this thing. It works like a charm. I was really surprised actually. Um, it plays a little song and these bears just go around in circles and he loves it. Um, over here we've got a table with some items that I just use very regularly. Um, some of them multiple times a day, some of them daily, some of them not as much. But we've got a brush, we've got little nail clippers, we've got chest rub, diaper rash ointment, baby powder, lotion, Lysol, more lotion, room spray, and hand sanitizer. Um, no, that's a little better view, huh? But the Germex and the Lysol, I think, are the two main things that I would have somewhere in your nursery. Um, the Germex I use every time. Of course, you want to wash your hands after you change a diaper. But if you're not able to get right to the bathroom, or he pees on you or spits up on you or whatever, I go straight to that. I love that stuff. I will always have Germex nearby if I have a nursery. Same with the Lysol. Um, I have my diaper champ right next to it that whenever I change it, spray that down spray his changing table down just it's just really nice to have I'm sorry that I have that window open I should um should have closed that but so we have his diaper genie over here and I'm sorry it's a diaper champ and that was going to be my next point is the diaper genies you have to get the certain bags for and they are really expensive um you, you have to buy this the the right bags but this is a diaper I think it's a diaper champ. Yeah, the diaper champ. You can use any plastic bag, Target bag, Walmart bag, whatever. You don't need this special bag, so I would recommend that. And actually, I got this from a baby consignment store here, kind of close to where I live. Um, I know there are multiple different ones. I know in Iowa, there's um, me and mommy to be all over. If you have a me and mommy to be, um, go there because I got this for eight dollars. There, they can be like between thirty and forty dollars at Target, brand new. But I just washed it down. I, I don't know. Some of you guys might think it's gross, but I don't. I think it's fine. My next tip is this bin right here. Um, I got this, and I recently figured this out. I wish I would have figured this out a little bit earlier, but you should do this if you are pregnant. Get a bin or a box or something, and this is where you're going to keep all of their keepsakes. When you go through their closet and something is too small, but you want to keep it, throw it in there. Um, the things that are too small, I throw back in those bags. But so that you don't have to go digging through and find the outfit that he came home in, or, you know, the hat that your grandma made him or your favorite blanket that he used. Everything is going to be in this bin and I just think that it's a really good idea. I wish I would have figured that out earlier because I'm, I'm going to have to go back and dig through some of the bins that he was tiny in. Here I just have his wipes, some extra diapers. I have found, I did have, I was balancing his wipes on this bar right here but I kind of, I made some spots actually so don't put anything on your wood, your nice um, changing table. And now that he's older, his head goes here usually. If I have something here, he'll reach up and grab it. He's actually untied these bows. <laughs> I mean, he's just grabbing at everything. So keep those cleared off. Um, and underneath here we have diapers and extra wipes. We have some little receiving blankets. We have burp rags. We have all of his bi uh, bath, bath stuff. Um, washcloths, soap, stuff like that. We have some towels and a little bag that my mother-in-law made him. 
This is actually not diapers. This is some storage stuff. Over here we have a diaper. Don't know what it's called. Told you diapers, basically. But I don't use it. I find that it's easier to keep it in that bin underneath there and just slide it out and grab a diaper rather than bending over and getting that. Over to his closet. We have, this is what it looks like. We have a hamper. We have his clothes. We have in here, we have socks and hats in there. This is all of his sleepers or, um, yeah, sleepers and like some swaddler things that he's too big for now. In this one we have uh, sh extra sheets and diaper changing table pad covers. Is that right? Diaper, diaper changing pad covers. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Um, and down here we have sweats because that's what he lives in. Long sleeve onesies, short sleeve onesies. Um, church pants and khakis, jeans, zip-up sweaters, sweatshirts, down there we have some summer stuff, uh, some bibs down there. Down here, actually this is the perfect spot for all of these papers that they give you at the hospital and at those classes um, that you feel like you should keep but you never look at. So I just throw it under there and um, we'll go through that one day, one day. And up there we have some bags, if you guys can see back there, also full of, actually that I think is when we registered for him, um, just some other papers. So it's kind of just his little tour. There was one other thing. Oh. I did want to just do a quick disclosure about <laughs> the safety in a, in a nursery. Um, I know you, some of you are probably thinking that I have the Lysol out. What am I thinking? I have chemicals out. I have blankets in his um, crib. I have, you know, that thing over his head. <sighs> I... I have found that for us, for our family, what works is to have this out. He's young enough where he, he's not walking around grabbing that yet. Yes, I will move it when he gets old enough to grab and run around and reach things. I have found with him, yes, we put blankets on him. <sighs> I don't know. That's, we do have a bumper or a bump. Is that what it's called? I think a bumper. Um, <laughs> it's actually illegal in Illinois now to put these bumpers on your crib, which I think is insane. Um, you know, do what you find is right for your child and your family. Um, we actually put him on his stomach to sleep for a while. We don't anymore because he's sleeping fine on his back. But he slept so much better on his stomach. Um, and same with the blankets. Um, I mean, it's not a crazy cold winter, but we throw one or two of those blankets on him and he, he's not gonna he's not gonna kill him. He's gonna live. Which I know that there are some situations out there that people have had that um you really aren't comfortable doing some certain things and that's fine I'm not saying my way of, of this nursery is right or it's the only way to go but I just wanted to show you what we have and this is just actually a little decoration that I wanted to show you it says baby boy this is actually from Etsy also, just out of construction paper and ribbon, but it's super cute, and you can probably make your own if you really wanted to, but it's cute. So, anyways, this is just Maddox's nursery. We are pleased with it. It's small, but it works. So, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and let me know if you have found any other tips that I could be doing that might make life a little bit easier. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.